what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel man it's your boy and for today's video i wanted to bring you guys some more r r some rescue and ronin gameplay before we wrap up all of the avengers endgame content and start focusing all of our attention on the uncanny x-men because i know the hype is all too real right now and the reason why i wanted to do this is because these two characters are two of the best new additions that we got for update 5.0 nobody can deny the fact that this uniform comes completely revive Hawkeye a character that was dead to us dead to us before Avengers Endgame and now he's one of the best characters in the game right for PvE he's an absolute monster and if you're free to play or a new player coming in you definitely want to get Hawkeye and get this uniform because he's going to get you through a lot of the Endgame content very very quickly and the reason why I wanted to do this comparison more than anything else is because one is free to play and the other is paywall and I have both of these characters looking pretty similarly I have a CTP of energy on rescue I have a CTP of energy on Ronin because both of them are really good characters they're both rocking power frankly hope for an iso set have them both at level 70 they all have urus you know what i'm saying like i have them looking pretty similar even though the rank is very very different it's just a lot more love for ronin and because ronin is free to play a lot more people have them when compared to rescue and i've been slacking on this uniform but we're gonna get into mythic because it is an absolute must buy of a uniform hawkeye without the uniform is garbage let's let's just get that clear okay so i wanted to do a comparison between them to show you guys the level of dps that they're both capable of and in addition to that to show you the gap between a rescue and Ronin because honestly it's not that big now for today's video we're not going to be using the same team for both characters because I want to show you guys the best possible team for rescue and the best possible team for Ronin and show you guys just how much of a gap is between the two right that's what I wanted to showcase today because obviously since rescue is a paywall character Netmarble invests more in the character so she's more appealing right and honestly I'm happy with Rescue as a character. She's definitely a big step up from her predecessor in Ironheart, a character that has like bad survivability. It's not completely like garbage, but bad survivability and non-existent damage. Rescue is absolutely amazing. Her damage is top, top tier, top of the line, and her survivability is very good because she has iframes, damage immunity, guard, healing, all that good stuff. But Hawkeye is no slouch either because he has iframes, damage immunity, and honestly, he's very easy and fun to play. So overall, two amazing characters here. I'm not trying to say one is bad and the other is not. I'm just trying to say both of them are top tier, but one is definitely above the other. But the gap is not as big as most of you guys may think if you don't have a rescue. Now, one thing that's going to be a clear deciding factor here is because of the fact that rescue has leadership, you can use her with White Fox. And I will be using her with White Fox in this video because I want to show you guys the best that she can do. With Hawkeye, you can't use him with White Fox. So that's going to be one of the main reasons why he's lagging behind. In addition to the fact that he doesn't have healing but Hakai is a very safe character to play nonetheless now for today's video since all of the bosses reduce your damage whether you're using physical or energy we're gonna focus on Thanos because he's neutral zone he's neutral ground so we're gonna go in here on stage 25 very high stage for Thanos and we're gonna start off with Hakai to show you guys what he can do and then we're gonna jump back in with rescue let's actually get this thing started I don't want to keep you guys too long but I just want to have fun with both of these guys Now, one great thing about both of these guys is the fact that since neither of them rely on defense down, no matter where you use them, your damage will just constantly remain high. Like defense down to them is just icing on an already delicious cake, which is just great. Missed the proc there? Really? How did I miss the proc? Also, you gotta love the fact that with um, Hawkeye's fifth skill he can just constantly interrupt the bosses and paralyze them it's just great even on somebody like Thanos it's always great to see okay this guy wants to play with me really I was one like fourth skill away from um pushing this guy in his next phase really okay there we go 
Go in your next phase, guy. All right, let's use Shuri for the running. Would have been really nice to see Shuri become Black Panther for um, Endgame. But I guess we'll have to wait to see what happens for uh, Black Panther 2. Ooh, hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, I thought he was... Ooh, he was gearing up like he was going to um, do that super titan punch. And I was like, whoa, what, really? But I guess he was paralyzed. I had been tripping for a second there. Yeah, guy. Okay. Really? Go in your next phase, bro. There you go. Yeah, let's use Shuri again for the running. What are you going to do, big guy? You got to be careful. Ah, oh, damn you. Okay. Don't use that super titan punch, eh? Come here. Oh, no, this is actually bad. That's actually worse. Ooh. <laughs> That was actually really, really close. Okay. Come on, Hawkeye. Oh, no, no, no. We're, oh, good. Thank you, Hawkeye. Yeah, <laughs> this guy came back to the right side just to <laughs> avoid it. That, that was great. That was great. Had me scared for a second there. We're going to stop at... Really? Damn. I hate you. I hate you so much, Club City. Anyways, we're going to stop at like five bars. I don't want to keep you guys here too, too long. I just want to show you guys a good portion of the fight. So you can see all the good procs, all the bad ones. All that stuff. Okay. Not good. I was still in the iframe. I didn't know those bubbles actually had iframe ignore on them, but you learn something new every day, right? Okay. Go in your next phase, guy. Love how much he moves around. It's great. Oh, really? This guy, bro. This guy. All right, so a minute 16 left, boys. We're going to stop right here. A minute 16 left. We're going to jump back in with rescue and see just how much faster she can get him down to five bars we're going to use white fox here because she's eligible and we're going to keep the strikers the exact same all right big guy let's do this Brock was kind of late there. Should have got way more damage than that. Let's try that again. Don't phase. Gotta watch out for when this guy debuffs her and takes away that guard. Whew, that was a lot of damage. Hello. Hello damage. There we go. All right, let's actually use White Fox for running, even though she's kind of slow. She's too thick to run with. We'll just, uh, you know what? Let's use Fury. He's lighter on his feet. Jeez, that was a good amount of damage. I was trying to move away because... Oh, damn, I canceled the fifth. Uh, there's too much going on on the, sc on the screen I couldn't see. Yeah, she's putting out way more damage than Hakai, that's for sure. But one thing I can tell you guys is I die way more using rescue than I do with Hakai, even though she has more survivability built in, right? And it has a lot to do with just so much going on on the screen, and a lot of times I just get distracted. Okay, this guy wants to phase.
Ooh. Hold up. See, I can't even see where she where she is. Like she's above now. I can't see what's going on below her. Like, especially against the animals when you you need to see. Okay. So like right there, I would have gotten killed. Like against the animals, you absolutely need to know what's going on on your screen at all times. But rescue, she does so much that yeah. It's bad business sometimes. Damage is really good though. I didn't like the feel of giving her white fox, but I didn't also like the feel of handicapping her, right? Because why should I take white fox away from her just because Hawkeye isn't capable of using it? You know what I'm saying? But you can see for yourself, even with white fox, sure she's putting on more damage, but it's not like a world of a difference, you know what I'm saying? Oh boy. This guy wants to play with me. She's probably gonna be like at most like a minute ahead of Hawkeye. Ooh, and I have to be real careful. See, I can't see. Okay, we got a tag there again. Yeah, she's not gonna be that much ahead of him. What are you gonna do? Okay, we're gonna stand here, stand here, stand here, tag. Okay, there we go. All right, boys, so we're gonna stop it right there. A minute 52 compared to a minute 16 with Hawkeye. You can see for yourself, it's not that big a difference. Free to play versus paywall. One is definitely stronger than the other, but it's not as clear cut as most of you guys may think. Okay, boys, so gonna wrap it up right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think of this comparison. If I was using her with Shuri, the damage would be about the same in my opinion. So just keep that in mind, guys. You're not really missing too, too much if you don't have her compared to what you can do with Hakka. You know what I'm saying? You're not missing out on too much, but don't don't get it twisted don't twist my words she's definitely money well spent i don't regret her and i don't regress um, i don't regress <laughs> anyways i don't regret investing in her anyways man leave me your thoughts in the comments and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace if there's anything else you want to see with these two feel free to hit me up in the comments because i absolutely love both of them they're fantastic